Sarvadaya Devanagari, Sarvadaya Gujarati, Sarvadaya is a Sanskrit term meaning universal uplift or progress of all. The term was used by Mahatma Gandhi as the title of his 1908 translation of John Ruskin's tract on political economy, Unto This Last, and Gandhi came to use the term for the ideal of his own political philosophy. Later Gandhians, like the Indian nonviolence activist Vinoba Bhavi, embraced the term as a name for the social movement in post-independence India which strove to ensure that self-determination and equality reached all strata of Indian society. Samantabhadra, an illustrious Digambara monk, as early as the 2nd century AD, called the Tirtha of Mahavira 24th Tirthankara by the name Sarvadaya. Origins and Gandhi's political ideal Gandhi received a copy of Ruskin's Unto This Last from a British friend, Mr. Henry Pollock, while working as a lawyer in South Africa in 1904. In his autobiography, Gandhi remembers the 24-hour train ride to Durban from when he first read the book, being so in the grip of Ruskin's ideas that he could not sleep at all. I determined to change my life in accordance with the ideals of the book. As Gandhi construed it, Ruskin's outlook on political economic life extended from three central tenets. Four years later, in 1908, Gandhi rendered a paraphrased translation of Ruskin's book into his native tongue of Gujarati. He entitled the book Sarvadaya, a compound sandy he invented from two Sanskrit roots, sarva all and udaya uplift, the uplift of all, or as Gandhi glossed it in his autobiography, the welfare of all. Although inspired by Ruskin, the term would for Gandhi come to stand for a political ideal of his own stamp. Indeed, Gandhi was keen to distance himself from Ruskin's more conservative ideas. The ideal which Gandhi strove to put into practice in his ashrams was, he hoped, one that he could persuade the whole of India to embrace, becoming a light to the other nations of the world. The Gandhian social ideal encompassed the dignity of labor, an equitable distribution of wealth, communal self-sufficiency and individual freedom. Sarvadaya movement Gandhi's ideals have lasted well beyond the achievement of one of his chief projects, Indian independence Swaraj. His followers in India notably, Vinoba Bhavi continued working to promote the kind of society that he envisioned, and their efforts have come to be known as the Sarvadaya movement. Anima Bose has referred to the movement's philosophy as a fuller and richer concept of people's democracy than any we have yet known, Sarvadaya workers associated with Vinoba, Jaya Prakash Narayan, Dada Dharmadakari, Ravi Shankar Maharaj, Durendra Mazumdar, Shankarao Deo, K. G. Mashrawala undertook various projects aimed at encouraging popular self organization during the 1950s and 1960s, including Bhutan and Gramdan movements. Many groups descended from these networks continue to function locally in India today. Beginning on the one-year anniversary of the immersion of Gandhi's ashes, an annual Sarvadaya Mela or festival has been held at Srirangapatna and at Tirunavaya. At the latter site, it was instituted by K. Kelapan <laughs> Sarvadaya movement, Gandhian Approach to Peace and Non-Violence, by S. Narayanasamy. New Delhi, Middle Publications, 2003. ISBN 81-7099-877-8. See also Indian Opinion Herman Kallenbach Totaram Sanadya Sarvadaya Shramadana Movement, a Sri Lankan organization based on the principle of Sarvadaya.